Long Sesame Street, and I'm looking for the word on the street. What's the word on the street? Coach. What's a coach? Someone who teaches you how to do something. What kind of coaches are there? There's soccer coaches. Baseball. Acting. Singing. Can you tell me some of the things that a skating coach teaches? She teaches how to jump and how to spin the right way. Keep listening for the word coach today on Sesame Street. Coach. <laughs> That's the word on the street. Vamos, Mary. Right, coach. <laughs> you get to your yoga and I'll check on the store. All right, thanks, Chris. Right, I'll cool. see you in a few. All right, see ya. Hey, oh, hey, welcome to Sesame Street. Hey, buddy. Hi, Chris. Wait, Elmo's going for a ride on his bike. Does Chris want to go on a ride with Elmo? Oh, I'd love to, Elmo, but I can't right now. Okay. Hey, what's that on Chris's bike? Oh, this? <laughs> this is my new bike horn. There, check it out. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, one more time, one more time. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Anyways, hey, buddy, you have fun. I gotta go back to the store, okay? Okay. I'll see you later. Bye, Chris. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna wish this he had a bike horn like Chris's. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's time for America's favorite game show, Calm Down and Pay. And here's your host, Guy Smiley. The show where contestants try to calm down and think so they can win big prizes. Monty, who's today's contestant? Guy, say hello to Elmo from Sesame Street. What? Huh? Elmo from Sesame Street, are you ready to play calm down and think? Elmo's not ready to play anything. Monty, what prize will Elmo be competing for today? Well, Guy, it's a brand new bicycle horn. <laughs> Hey, Elmo, here's how our game works. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask you three questions. If you calm down, think, uh -huh. and answer all three questions right, you win the horn! Hey, Elmo, it's the horn! Stop the game! Stop no, 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 the no, game. not yet! No, first you have to pick your calm down and think coach! The calm down and think coach, what's that? A coach is someone who trains you to do something, and you need a coach who can train you to calm down and think. Monty, how much time has Elmo got to pick his coach? Guy, he's got 60 seconds. 60 seconds to pick your coach. Uh, Elmo needs to pick a coach. Elmo needs to pick a coach. But who? Who? Oh, 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 the two-headed monster. Mine, 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 He doesn't look very kind. Cookie Monster. No, 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 no. Not kind. Time's almost up. Okay. Just in time! Huh? What's going on? You oh, are my friend. I'm what? Alan is Elmo's coach! Uh, your coach? Uh -huh. That's right, Alan. Elmo needs to calm down and think to win today's special prize, and he's picked you to help him do it! Uh, well, 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 listen, I'm not sure that I want to... Uh, Alan, please, please, please. Elmo wants to win the prize so much, but Elmo may need help to stay calm and answer the questions. <laughs> okay, what do I do? Uh. Question number one. Well, uh, it's uh, you, uh, uh, It's raining cats and dogs. But not the same number of each guy. Question number one, Elmo. Which animal did it rain more of? Cats or dogs? Cats or dogs? Elmo can't tell. Elmo doesn't know. How much time has Elmo got, Monty? Guy, he's got 60 seconds to... Come oh. down and think! What was that about? Man and Elmo needs help. Oh. 
What you need to do, Elmo, is is try to calm down. But how am I so excited? Okay, you know what? I know a good strategy to help you calm down. All right? Try this. Hug yourself. Sometimes when you need to calm your body down, it helps to hug yourself. Okay, okay. Elmo's hugging! Time's running out! Hugging! Hugging! Tick tock, tick tock! Hugging! Oh, ha, ha. Alan, Elmo feels calm! Good, good. So the question is, which did it rain more on, cats or dogs? So how can you figure that out? By counting them? By, by counting the cats and counting the dogs? Oh, by counting them! That's right. So count them and see which group has more. Better count fast! Okay. All right, first the cats. Oh, all right. One, two, three, four kitties. And now the dogs. Okay. One, two, three doggies. And since... Four is more than three. Time's almost up. Oh, it rained more cats than dogs. That's it. You're right. You answered question number one. Yay! Wonderful, wonderful. Yay! And Elmo's going to win the game. Elmo, you need to try and stick question up. Question number two. Ike and Mike, they look alike. And so do the letters on their sweaters, Guy. Those letters look alike, but they are actually different. What letters are they, and which is which? What is what, and which is which? How much time has Elmo got? Guy, he's got 60 seconds to... Oh, Go down ah! and think! Oh, uh, I wish you would stop that. Good luck, pal. You're gonna need it. <laughs> oh, look at the letters, Alan. They're both tall, and they both go up and down. They look the same. It's hard to tell the difference because you're too excited to focus on them, Elmo. You need to calm down. Okay, right, okay, okay. Elmo will hug himself again. Hug, 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 hug. Oh, it's not working. Elmo's too excited. It's okay, you know what? We'll try a different strategy. What strategy? What strategy? Okay, I know. All right. You're gonna take a deep, calming breath. Okay. Right? and then use your focus binoculars. Focus what there? Yeah, just try it, oh, okay, right? Okay. All right? Deep breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Okay, ah! You know what, that does help Emma if you calm. Better hurry up! And now look at the letters through your focus binoculars. Okay. Oh, Ella, it's working. Emma's focusing on the letters. The letters are all that Emma sees. And what exactly do you see? Well, Emma sees that even though both letters are tall and have a lot of line... Tick-tock, tick-tock! One letter goes up and down and has a short line at the bottom, which makes it a letter L, and the other letter just goes up and down, which makes it a letter I. Congratulations, Elmo! That's right! You've answered question number two! Oh, Answer okay. one more question and you win the prize! Oh, Elmo! Elmo! Whoa! Oh, oh, wait. Hello? Hey, Chris. Oh, you're kidding. No, no, I'll be right there. Um, that was Chris. One of the freezers isn't working, and uh, I got to go help him fix it before all the food spoils. I'm sorry, Elmo. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay? Question number three. Win this challenge, Elmo, and you win the prize! But Elmo needs to win! The clock stops for no contestant, Elmo! Watch closely! Cat! Dog! Cat! Dog! Cat! Your final question, Elmo. Which animal lines up next to finish the pattern? Which one? Which one? Elmo doesn't know. Elmo needs his coach. Elmo How much time has Elmo got? Guy, he's got 60 seconds to... Calm down and think! Oh, Elmo needs Alan! Elmo needs Alan! But, but Alan isn't here! Elmo needs to calm down, but how? How? Wait, wait, Elmo knows how. The Alan showed Elmo lots of ways to calm down. Yeah, first, Elmo hugged himself like this. Elmo feel calmer. <laughs> oh, and then Elmo made focus binoculars. And then when Elmo had calmed down, Elmo solved the problem. Which Elmo better do fast? Okay. What comes next?
next? A dog or a cat? A dog or a cat? Yeah. Mm, Elmo's looking and... Uh, <laughs> Elmo thinks he sees a pattern. Better see it fast. Cat? Dog? Cat? Dog? I could. Oh, it's okay, Alan. I'm gonna remember what Alan taught him and calm down and win the game. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations, Elmo! <laughs> That's it for our game. Join us next time on <laughs> Calm Down and Play! Hey everybody, I'm here with my good Buddy Pal. Hello. <laughs> and today, Pal's gonna be my coach. That's right, Abby. I'm happy to be your coach. All right then, coach. <clears throat> Take me to the ball at Cinderella's castle. Oh, wait, Abby. I'm not a coach you ride in like in Cinderella's story. Huh? You mean there's a different kind of coach? Yes. A coach is someone who teaches you how to do something. Really? I mean, what can a coach teach you to do? Well, I can teach you how to play basketball. <gasps> So you could be a basketball coach. That's right. Ah. Come on. First, I'll show you how to dribble. Okay. Just like this. OK. <clears throat> the coach is going to teach me how to dribble. Mm -hmm. okay. Just bounce it up and down, just like this. OK. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, no. I didn't dribble right. Oh, you just got to keep practicing. Oh, OK. Well, that's right. good advice, coach. All right, now, come on, let's dribble. OK. Great job, Abby. Great <laughs> job. There you go. Oh, boy. Thanks for teaching me, pal. You are a great coach. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Did I just hear you say you have a great coach? Yeah, but he's not the kind of coach that you can ride in. Oh, I don't want to ride. <laughs> I want to learn how to play hoops. <laughs> All right, let's dribble. <laughs> coach. <laughs> Nearby, wow. Dance far away now. Clap your hands to the letter of the day. Clap, clap. What's the letter? Clap, clap. What's the letter? Clap, 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 clap. What's the letter? 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 The letter of the day. Yeah. Clap, clap. It's the letter of the day. This letter's you, you know it's true. It starts some words, there are more than a few. Uh -oh. You start uh, and ugh and up. You start food and there's some in this cup. Uh -uh. 26 letters are in the alphabet, but we're here to sing about you. What you get, and when you swim underwater, you wet. You start turn. That's what I've learned. And a unicycle taught to turn. Twenty-six letters are in the alphabet, but we're here to sing about you. You for utensils in Grover's hands. You is for uncles, but not. Come 
on running the bases. We're going to practice throwing. We're going to practice catching. We're going to practice whoa, whoa, hitting. Minute. What is practice? It means like to try and try. To try and try. Okay, Mari, we're going to give you a little pitching lesson. Okay. Turn sideways. Sideways. Lift that leg way up. Leg up. Bring that arm way back. Way back. And throw that baseball. Yeah! I'm catching and throwing. Hey, Coach Jim, what do I need to wear in baseball? You'll wear your uniform. Uh -huh. Usually you'll get a, a shirt that says your team name on it, and you'll get a hat, and you'll wear your cleats. What are your cleats? They're special shoes that make you run fast in the dirt. What do I have to do to learn to hit the baseball with a baseball bat? You just got to listen to your coach. This is called the tee. We put the baseball here on top, uh -huh. let the kids come up and they hit the ball. You always want to keep your eye on the ball, always. Always keep your eye on the ball like this? Uh, well, a little further back. Like this? Yeah, a little more. Like there this? You, that's it. Keep my eye on it. Keep it level and oh. that wasn't good. How am I ever gonna learn to hit the ball? I don't know. I don't know either. You ready, Mari? I want a pitcher, not a belly itcher. There it comes. Whoa! Whoa! What am I doing wrong, coach? All right, Mary, you gotta relax. Okay. okay. Let me take a deep breath. Deep breath. I am relaxed. And keep the eye on the ball. Here I go, Coach Jimmy Jim Jim Jim. Whoa! Oh! Run, Murray, run to second. I'm the fastest runner in baseball! Here comes second. That's a home run, Murray. Transylvanian beat. Start nice and slow. One, two. Then speed up more. One, two, three, four. Then stomp away. One, Cause two, we're about three, to four, find out five, the number of the day. What's the number? Stop, stop. What's the number? Stop, stop. What is the number? The number of the day. I say simply heaven. The number of the day is seven. So that's the number. Stop, stop. Yes, that's the number. Stop, stop. The number of the day. That's the number. Stop, stop. That's the number of the day. Seven. Now let's stomp seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, ah, ah. One. Rated MG for Memory Games. Ancient stories tell of a hero born a monster, son of Zeus. They call me Perseus. He journeyed far to reach his father. He all the way up there at Mount Olympus Diner. We got to get there in time for early bird special. Then I'm coming with you. Oh, me loyal friend, Pegafish. But one thing stood in their way. Moo do so. <laughs> I just washed my hair and I can't do a thing with it. <laughs> they say if you look right at her, you freeze in your tracks. Seriously? Oh, come on, that just a... Well, it's true. Who the fun? Oh, oh that weird. Okay, lesson learned. Do not look at her or anything else anymore. Okay, come on, Pegafish. Oh, oh, no, oh. no, 
sorry, Perseus. I can't let you pass me until you pass my test. Test? What test? Well, my little snake pets get hungry, so you have to feed them. Okie dokie, that unusual test, but uh, what the hey? It sounds easy enough. What me do? Under one of these lids is my snake's favorite food. You just have to remember which one. Focus, Perseus. It could be a trick. Yeah, yeah, good thinking. Okay, let's see what under here. Oh, this one got itty bitty cakes. Um, nom, 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 nom. And under here we got nothing. No food here. That's strange. And under here we got nothing. No food either. Okay, me no get it. All you have to do is remember the one that has the snake cakes. Oh, well, that easy. At the first one, me show you. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, is there something in my eye? Oh, let me see. <laughs> uh, you look right at her again. You're not supposed to look. Remember? You've got to focus on the lids, not on Medusa. Oh, oh right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me focus on the lids, not Medusa. Got it. Now, which one did you say the snake's cakes were under? Hey, you moved them. They're in a different order now. Well, how am I supposed to know which is the right one? Think, Perseus. Do you remember anything about the lid? Let me try to remember. Hmm. Me remember the color silver. Yeah, yeah, cake's under shiny silver lid, uh-huh. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Oh, <laughs> no. Let me try again. Oh, well, all right. Oh, but first, hey, 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 is that a cookie on my forehead? What, where? Whoa. Whoa. You've got to be kidding me. Perseus, focus on the lids and stop getting distracted. Oh, oh. yeah, 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 okay, me ready to... Focus! Oh no! She's moved them around again! Oh no! Me never gonna find the food now! Sure you will! Think! Do you remember anything about the lid? Hmm. Me remember? Uh, oh! It had a star on it! Yeah, yeah, yeah! It's silver and had star! Yeah. Oh, Perseus, oh. do you like my new cowbell? Uh, huh? Focus! Um, okay, this one, silver, but uh, no have star. Hey, Perseus, uh, do I have cut in my uh, teeth? Okay, focus! Uh, oh, this one has star, but it's not silver! Perseus, look at uh, me! Focus! Uh, oh, this one, silver and has star! Oh! Me did it! Me focused and me remembered and me found the snake cakes! Ha uh ha! -huh. Here you go, lady! Lady! She saw herself in the shiny lid. She froze herself. Now that dramatic irony. Quick, let's get out of here before she unfreezes. Yeah, yeah, Mount Olympus Diner, here we come. I'm so glad you made it, son. Ready for a snack? You betcha, pups. Release the cracker. Nosh of the Titans. Get more than a little taste of it at a theater near you. We're gonna need a lot of milk. Sesame Street was brought to you today by... The letter U. And by the number seven. This is Murray saying see you next time on the street. Peace.